In October 2012, Hurricane Sandy struck the Northeast United States with a vengeance, causing unprecedented destruction from hurricane force winds, fires, and record storm surge. The floodwaters of the rare superstorm transformed the tiny close-knit community of Breezy Point into a smoke-filled debris field. More than 300 homes either washed away or burned to the ground. Hi, I'm John Zarella. We're here at Breezy Point, where a coalition of leading disaster resilience experts have come together to create a concrete, energy-efficient, hurricane strong home for a deserving Breezy Point resident. Forced from her family's 1955 bungalow by the storm, homeowner Diane Hellriegel returned to an uninhabitable mess. It was horrible. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I thought I was gonna gut it and then move back in. But even though I had it demolded, it's it still, I, you couldn't move back there. I used to walk around the house crying and waiting, and then I, I just went to like no feelings. So, but now I'm very excited. Excited because Diane's home is coming down and a hurricane strong home will be going up. Flash, the Portland Cement Association and partners joined local architect Elia Azaroff to build Diane a new home one that would set the standard for resilience and durability. This Breezy Point project is all about showing people that a disaster resilient home is beneficial when the skies are blue. Energy efficiency, fire resistance, durability, not to mention it's just beautiful. It's a revolutionary idea. Build the ultimate hurricane strong home, meeting or exceeding the codes, elevation, walls, roof and energy, all designed to withstand what nature may throw at this home. Communities around the country need to understand that so many people are at risk that the way we're building now needs to be rethought. It's not a different way of building substantially, but it's just a different way of thinking. So we want them to understand that you can have a home like this, you can have it affordably, but when the time comes, when the winds blow and when the floods start, you can be safe too. We have an opportunity with this project to share the good products that can go into making a house stronger, more durable, and more comfortable for the occupant. This is a project for us that requires the collaboration of many different stakeholders. Uh, we saw government get involved, we saw insurance get involved, we saw also the architect community, lots of product manufacturers. Back here again with Don Thompson, Portland Cement. Don, uh, last time we were together, there was none of this was here. They were tearing down the old house, and now look, I mean, they've made a lot of progress in a few short months. Yeah, they sure have. After they got the house out of the way, they basically graded the site, got utilities in place, and then they came out and started on the foundation, which is really the first step to building a strong hurricane-resistant home. This reinforced concrete foundation is 15 feet above sea level. Typically we have what's called a base flood elevation. That's the required code mandated that we have to build to. Here we've added a little more, which is called freeboard. Freeboard comes from the nautical term, the difference between the water line and the deck of a ship. Here we have two feet of freeboard. That two feet is hopefully that insurance measure that says, hey, if we are gonna get a flood, we're not gonna get it in the living room. Hydrostatic vents or flood vents will be added. This allows floodwaters to flow under and through the foundation. And a lot of mindsets are, oh, I don't want to let the water flow into the space. Well, you do. You want to equalize the pressure because the force of water can cause the wall to collapse. It can cause structural damage. Next come the insulated concrete floors. Uh, but basically it's manufactured out of expanded polystyrene, so very a high density styrofoam. We're actually going to pour concrete on this and you're basically going to have a concrete floor that's very energy efficient, very resilient, very high performance. As you can see, the foundation has been poured, the floors are going in, and the walls are next. Instead of the standard wood frame, we're going ultra-efficient and super strong with insulated concrete form construction. 
So it has this foam. So after they pour the concrete, do they remove the foam? But no, the foam is part of the whole package, as we were just saying. It right? stays in place. And it stays in place. The foam panels provide your insulating power. The rebar is laid in uh, in these uh, small channels and also vertically for, uh, for strength. And concrete's poured, and you have an extremely durable wall system. So the thermal mass plus the insulation on either side really gives you a, a, a protected and energy efficient envelope. Now they were going to put the roof on. Right. It's so important. This is, this is one key item that every house in the United States really should have no matter where you are because you have the potential for windstorms. Straps, brackets, and extra long bolts like these tie the roof to the walls the walls to the foundation, giving this house an extra level of protection against high winds. So by incorporating a solid concrete foundation, the concrete walls that we're talking about above this level for the enclosure of the living space of the house, and then topping with a wood-framed uh, roof system tied down to that concrete, now we have a full enclosure that's going to resist wind loading, flood loads, as well as provide fire protection, which is so important here in Breezy as well. After the main structure is in place, it's time to seal it up. Water and airtight structural sheathing adds to the energy efficiency of the home. Specially engineered tape provides a permanent protective seal. We're right on the coast here. Um, if your shingles blow off, you're still protected. Um, another thing that a lot of codes are leaning towards is, is tightness, air tightness. So because you are addressing those seams and you have a, a whole panel acting as a system, you are, are going to get a tighter home. Some of the features of the Hurricane Strong home are things any homeowner could consider to retrofit their home with. There are so many opportunities to make your home stronger, your existing home, that are affordable. Start by thinking about your openings, windows, doors, and garage door. For additional protection, using spray foam insulation has many benefits. There are four things that you look to control properly. Air, water, moisture, and heat. And our solutions um, provided by BASF or any other company, there are a ton of different uh, solutions in the polyurethane space or in, in the plastic space, whether it be adhesives on your roof, um, insulation, uh, spray foam insulation that you can find in your wall, or even below grade insulation um, using other technologies such as our, our Neopore that help to manage one of those four things. Putting on a new roof? Consider concrete and you may never need to re-roof your home again. Concrete roof tile is going to last a lot longer, so you're going to be replacing it less. So it's, it's both resilience and sustainability. A lightning protection system can not only protect valuable electronics, but also the home itself. Typically, homeowners aren't concerned about lightning until they have an event or they witness a catastrophic event. I mean, the worst case scenario is a fire, and a single lightning strike can destroy a structure or a home in a matter of minutes. A whole home generator mounted above flood level will give Diane peace of mind should the power ever go out. Elevation is really important. If you're in a flood zone, you need to make sure that generator is installed above the flood zone. It's um, elevated on a beautiful platform here. That means that even if floodwaters come in, the generator can still operate. Decks made from a composite material last longer than traditional wood. If you were to use a wood product, say, um, that, that it, it wouldn't be resilient. You know, it, when flood and saltwater inundation affects that material, it's not going to hold up well, where this material actually will. With a ceremonial ribbon cutting, Diane's Hurricane Strong home is officially ready for her to move in. This project, probably the most essential ingredient, is that we enjoyed the faith of the homeowner. We told Diane that we could build her a new home that would be a dream home and that we could do it affordably and, and make it happen. And she believed in us and we pulled it off. These finishing touches and these designs and the decor are all hers. So it's just a true partnership. 
You can imagine yourself in this house. It doesn't have to look different than any other house around it, which means resilience is about performance. The performance of the building, not the look. Another aspect is attainable. You could buy these materials in your local supply store. Doesn't matter where you're going, these are not special items. They're things you can readily attain. And the last piece that it's cost effective. Now, building a resilient and sustainable home might cost a little more at the beginning, but you know what's happening is, is that you get a great return on investment for your energy as well as your insurance. So it makes a lot of sense. The lessons learned from this house about how you put different systems together, it's always the case with demonstration homes that are sort of pushing the envelope literally and figuratively like they're doing here. All this new knowledge, all advances in material and uh, construction techniques and assemblies, many uh, of the innovative products here today, um, they get included in the nation's code. So I like to say that today's code is not my father's building code. And so uh, FEMA is very much, it's part of its mission uh, to support the adoption and enforcement of building codes, uh, to outreach and to provide training and education. We've been around for 21 years. We've done this before. We've built many demonstration homes and they've all been lovely. This one is the best in class. For Diane, the journey is over. She is home. From this point forward, she will have peace of mind because resilience does make a difference.